Hello friends, welcome to TechMac. The component required for gesture based bot is RF module, Arduino Uno, MBU6050, motor driver, and some jumper wires. This is the chassis. Firstly, I have to take two motors and check whether both motor rotates clockwise or anti-clockwise and take the both negative ends and positive ends together and put it on the input of motor driver and you have to do it for both the motors both sides of the motors this is the negative of left hand side and positive of left hand side this is the negative and positive of right hand side motors this is 12 volt supply ground and 5 volt supply of motor driver this is receiver board this is RF module Arduino Uno 9 volt battery and adapter for power Arduino I have made it on Vero board but you can use jumper wire for it and simply connect it with the RF module the circuit diagram is very simple I will put it down in my description you can find it very easily this is the transmitter board This is MPU6050, it is also known as meme sensor. I also used Vero board for transmitter circuit. It is also very easy circuit diagram. I will put it on my description, you can find it very easily. This is RF transmitter. Before uploading code, we must have to know how to calibrate MPU6050. If you want to know how to calibrate MPU6050, comment below. I will make video on it. But it is very easy. You can find it by using MPU6050 library to get all the data from MPU6050. Let's start the connection of receiver with motor driver. We have to first connect the Arduino pin 2, 3, 4, 5 with the input of motor driver. So connect the input 1 to 2, input 2 with Arduino pin 3 and 3 with 4 and input 4 with Arduino pin 5. Then you have to connect the uh, ground of Arduino with motor driver. Paste everything with double sided tape on the chassis. Then you have to connect lithium ion battery or any battery. Uh, I use 3.7 volt battery and connect it in series for more voltage and connect positive end of battery to 12 volt supply and negative to the ground of motor driver The most important thing you have to do is connect the 5 volt of motor driver with the V in of Arduino Uno. This is the very important thing we have to do. If you will not, if you forgot to do it, your bot will not run. 
properly or it will not start. So I used lithium ion for motor driver and 9 volt for Arduino Uno. You can use 9 volt for motor driver also. This is OTG. This is Arduino Uno cable. You have to put OTG in your smartphone and USB with any Arduino board. Let's get started for coding of a receiver board. For coding in Android phone, you have to download Arduino Droid from Play Store and open it I will put all the circuit diagram and code in my description you can find it very easily this is the uh, code for receiver board uh, I don't think that uh, you will not get it I only used if statement it is very simple uh, then you have to compile it and after compilation you have to upload the code in the Arduino and after uploading we have to mm, remove your USB and do it same for transmitter board In transmitter you have to firstly add three library four library uh, uh, first library is MPU 6050 and uh, uh, second is MPU 6050 token and wire dot H and wire virtual wire you can find it uh, in my description also and uh, if you click on available option in the Arduino Droid and search in search on it you can easily find it then open the uh, transmitter code this is also very easy code uh, I used virtual wire library for wireless communication from what board from one Arduino board to another um, by using RF module then after getting all the data from uh, MPU 6050 and used if statement uh, if the value is less than minus 0 0.40 then it uh, send uh, character f uh, from this arduino board using rf module to uh, receiver board and then after getting the character f uh, from rf module uh, it command motor driver to move forward then you have to compile it firstly ch uh, check the board type that you have selected the right board and then after compilation you have to upload the code and after uh, uploading uh, you have to click on serial monitor for checking whether your um, uh, your mpu60 is getting data or not Let's start with this transmitter circuit. Uh, the first bit of RF transmitter is ground, data, VCC and ANT. So you have to connect um, data with 12 pin of Arduino and ground with ground and VCC with 5 volt and ANT you have uh, if you want to uh, make antenna so you can use um, any copper wire or you can simply blanket, leave it 
and uh, the connection of MPU 6050 is first pin is VCC, second is ground, third is SCL and fourth is SDA. You have to connect SCA, um, uh, VCC with 5 volt ground with ground and you have to connect SCL with 5A5 and SDA with A4. The In your Arduino you know the uh, A5 pin and A4 pin is reserved for uh, SCL and SDA. Let's start for receiver circuit. So uh, you have to connect uh, 12 volt and ground uh, with uh, battery with any 9 volt battery or lithium ion battery and then you have to connect uh, input of 1, 2, 3, 4 motor driver with uh, Arduino pin of 2, 3, 4, 5. both ground together and VCC together and connect ground to ground of Arduino and VCC to 5 volt of Arduino and uh, antenna as blank and data pin to 11th pin of Arduino The most important thing you have to do is connect ground to ground of Arduino and 5 volt to V in of Arduino. Don't forget to connect motor driver 5 volt supply to Arduino and ground to Arduino. Then connect all the supply. I put my MPU6050 gyro on my gloves for better handling. 